What's happening, YouTube? Welcome back. So crypto is heading into a critical area with Bitcoin getting below 20,000. We're going to dive into it, what it means for all of crypto. Perhaps bigger opportunities even lie ahead if you're looking at the prices uh, and wanting them to come down even more to start accumulating. A lot of people are talking about Bitcoin coming all the way down to 14K. Well, we're going to jump into it. Three particular cryptos, by the way getting into a really nice uh, spot to accumulate. I'll be right back. All right, so beware. Those cryptos are approaching a critical area. We're going to start with Bitcoin. So, Actually, we'll start with the overall crypto market. So after a brief consolidation period, of course, we hit down there at 17.5 on Bitcoin. We came back up. We're hanging out over 21K, right in that range for a little while. Uh, but now, just as of last night, Bitcoin went lower than 20,000, went back into the 19,000 range. We're going to talk about why that's important. And also three risky cryptos, all within the top 100 that may collapse soon, not collapse fully, just depreciate in price, providing us some really great opportunities to get in at a really low price. One of them is an asset that I hold, uh, and I'm looking forward to this thing getting lower so we can uh, accumulate more. So we're going to jump into that all in this video. Go ahead and hit the like button if you haven't already. So we can see the market is losing its momentum recently, going back lower again, Bitcoin retracing down below 20K. Not only is that a psychological level, but it's also a level that's important when we come and look at the charts. So if we look at this, it says here, as an example, we can consider Bitcoin, that 20K price, a very important area. Of course, we just broke that. Now, uh, of course, everything follows Bitcoin and Ethereum. So as Bitcoin is dropping you know, down below 20K, we're seeing the altcoins come down with it. There are a few hanging in there somehow kind of being uh, you know, solo and, and kind of building up on their own somehow, right? Like Terra Classic, just put out a video on that. But okay, let's take a look at Polygon. One of my favorite cryptos, actually. It's a top 50 crypto. So it says here, Matic can be up for a serious adjustment lower, bringing prices back to their initial support of around 40 cents. Recently, we saw Polygon as high as 60 cents. Uh, so for day traders, Polygon has been a really nice swing trade. However, if we see this support zone to about 40 cents, we can expect prices to sink to the next support level for Matic, which is 30 cents. Now, Matic was recently added to uh, the new platform, a new platform, Robinhood. Of course, that's a big deal. A lot of traders there, right? But we'll, we shall see. I've got a nice accumulation of Polygon over the past year and a half. I'm looking to add more, and I would really like to see Polygon down there at that 30 cent range. We could drive that average cost even down further, so we're prepared for that next bull run. Helium, HNT. So, this price is also dragging lower. If prices manage to break the $8 mark, we can expect HNT to continue falling towards $6 and even $5, depending on what Bitcoin and Ethereum do. And then lastly, Bitcoin. So despite Bitcoin prices managing to retrace to those lows of 17.5, then it came all the way back up to 22K. Prices today are bearish again, as we are below 20,000 to open up the day. Uh, and again, that 20,000 pr price mark is a very important psychological level and level when it comes to TA. If this level's broken again, which it has been, uh, it is bad news for the entire crypto market. Of course, in the short term, we're playing the long game here as the crash might continue sending Bitcoin prices all the way down to get this $12,000 could be the low. Now I'm hearing 13K to 14K could be the low. Uh, and a lot of this is based on historical reference points knowing how far Bitcoin drops in a bear market, we could see a $14,000 Bitcoin, which again, provides a ton of opportunity for new investors. I just read another article, not shown here on the screen, more people now own one Bitcoin than ever before. What does that tell us? People are accumulating. People are buying Bitcoin. They see this as an opportunity. It doesn't necessarily mean we're having a huge influx of new investors, but people who are in crypto, are doubling down. And we like to see that because, uh, of course, that is only going to drive this entire industry forward. So that's what I've got for you here in the video. Let me know your thoughts about it all down below.
but uh, this is where we're at right now in crypto. So beware, prices could go lower. For me, I'm buying Bitcoin every single day right now. I'm slowly accumulating that in Ethereum. And then I'm strategically accumulating some of my favorite altcoins like Shiba Inu, like Cardano, like Gala, and like Crow. Those are my top ones right now. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hit the like button on your way out. Let me know what you're thinking down below. I'll see you.